My name is Dr. Fuller. I would like to introduce you to the mathematical world around you. All around us is mathematics, which often involves working with rational numbers in different forms. Additionally, we usually do not find single-step math problems, so being able to solve problems involving multiple steps, which include fractions, decimals, percents, and negatives, is critical to functioning in our world. A rational number is a positive or negative number that can be written as a fraction, a over b, where a and b are integers and b does not equal zero. Fractions are another way of representing division. If we divide the numerator by the denominator, we convert the fraction into its decimal form. These decimals will always either terminate or repeat. Converting a number in decimal form to a fraction involves using the place value of the rightmost digit. We write the decimal component as the numerator and the associated power of 10 as the denominator. Then, simplify the fraction. A percent is a number out of 100. To convert a percent to a fraction, write the percent as the numerator and 100 as the fraction's denominator. Then, simplify. The easiest way to convert a fraction to a percent is to use a proportion. A proportion where the fraction is set equal to a fraction representing the percent, written as an unknown out of 100, would allow you to solve for a percentage value. Finally, because decimals involve place value, we can multiply a decimal by 100 to convert to a percent, or divide a percent by 100 to convert to a decimal. You have already learned about and practiced working with rational numbers and the four basic math operations. Putting these concepts together leads to many types of real-world problems. Let's look at a few examples around Georgia. The Coca-Cola Company is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. The company reported a net income of $7.747 billion in 2020. If the company had 26 and 13 hundredths percent more net income in 2021, what was the net income of the Coca-Cola Company in 2021? In 2022, the Coca-Cola Company had an annual net income of $9.542 billion. What was the percent change from 2021 to 2022? To find the net income of the Coca-Cola Company for 2021, we need to add 26 and 13 hundredths percent of 2020's net income to the 2020 net income. We can write this as 2021 net income equals the 2020 net income plus 26 and 13 hundredths percent of 2020's net income. Substituting the given values and converting the percent to a decimal, we get 7 and 747 thousandths plus 2,613 ten thousandths times 7 and 747 thousandths. Simplifying gives us 9 and 771 thousandths. Therefore, the net income of the Coca-Cola company in 2021 was $9.771 billion. We could verify this calculation with an estimation. 26 and 13 hundredths is close to 25% which is the same as one-fourth. Seven and seven-tenths is close to eight, and one-fourth of eight is two. Adding two to the original 7.7 .7 billion gives 9.7 billion, which means our answer should be close or right. To find the percent change, we subtract the two and divide by the original. We substitute the values to get the following. Simplifying gives us negative 24 thousandths. Converting the value to a percent means multiplying by 100, giving a negative 2 and 4 tenths percent change from 2021 to 2022. This problem is not a quick check using estimation. 
but it will still let us know if our initial calculation is close. I will round the 2022 and 2021 net income to the tenths place for 9.5 and 9.8 respectively. This gives 9 and 5 tenths minus 9 and 8 tenths divided by 9 and 5 tenths. Simplifying yields negative 3 hundredths or negative 3 percent. First, notice that our estimate is close to our answer, which is most likely correct. The numerator is smaller in our estimation, meaning this estimation is a little too big. Estimation is often a quick way to determine what our answer should look like with less messy numbers. The Georgia Bulldogs football team played 14 games in the 2019 season, winning 12 and losing the rest. If they scored an average of 33 and two-thirds points in the games they won and an average of 28 and five-tenths points in the games they lost, what was their total number of points scored? That season. They scored 19.5% more points in their first 14 games of the 2022 season and were the national champions. How many points did the Georgia Bulldogs football team score in the first 14 games of the 2022 season? Let's write an equation to break this problem down. The total number of points earned in the 2019 season is the sum of the points from the games they won and lost. This time, I will use estimation for mental math before I solve the problem to see what my answer should look like. We can calculate the number of points from the games won by multiplying the number of games by the average number of points. I will round to 10 games won and an average of 34 points. Multiplying the two gives an estimated 340 points. This number will be low because I reduced the number of games. The actual calculation with 12 games won with an average of 33 and two-thirds points looks like this. It is somewhat close, but let's continue. The Georgia Bulldogs lost 14 minus 12 or two games in 2019. Now, I will create an estimate for the games lost. I will keep the number of games at 2 and round the points to 30. Multiplying the 2 gives 60 points. Finally, adding the estimated number of points from games won and lost gives around 400 points for the 2019 season. To find the actual total number of points, I multiplied 2 by the average number of points from the games they lost. 28 and a half points for 57 points. Thus, they scored a total of 57 points in the two games they lost. Now we can put these two values into our original equation. Adding the points from the games won and the games lost is 404 plus 57. Therefore, the total number of points they scored for the 2019 season was 461 points. My initial estimate was 400 points, which I knew was low because I rounded the number of games to 10 for easy mental multiplication. My estimate, 400, shows that I should expect an answer somewhere above 400. As another test of reasonableness, notice that the number of points in our actual answer is a whole number. If we had gotten a partial number of points, it would indicate something was wrong. Next, to find the number of points for 2022, I need to find around 20% of around 400 points. Using mental math for estimating, I know that 10% of 400 is 40. Therefore, 20% of 400 is 80. 80 more points than 2019 gives 480, meaning we should expect around 500 points. To calculate the number of points for 2022, I will take 461 points and add 19 and a half percent more points. Substituting in the appropriate values gives the following. Therefore, in the 2022 season, the Georgia Bulldogs football team scored 551 points in their first 14 games. I was expecting an answer around 500. The actual calculated amount is close enough to tell us that the solution is either right or close.
A machine operator at Georgia Pacific produces 300 rolls of paper towels in a 12-hour shift. Suppose the machine operates at a constant rate. How many rolls of paper towels can the operator produce in an 8-hour shift? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. A quality control technician at Georgia Pacific then inspects the rolls of paper towels produced and finds that 12 rolls are defective. What percent of the rolls are defective? Since the machine operates at a constant rate, we know this is a rate problem. We can use the formula rate times time equals output. We have 300 rolls over 12 hours, which is the rate. It simplifies to 25 rolls per hour, and 25 rolls per hour times 8 hours equals 200 rolls. Therefore, the machine operator can produce 200 rolls of paper towels in an 8-hour shift. We now know how many paper towel rolls the quality control technician inspected. 200. To find the percentage of defective rolls, we need to divide the number of defective rolls by the total number of rolls and multiply it by 100. Therefore, 6% of this batch of paper towel rolls are defective. If we use mental math estimation, we know that 300 rolls are more than what is produced in the 8 hours. 10% of 300 rolls is 30, and that means there must be fewer than 10%. However, 5% or half of 30 means that 15 at max would be defective. This is close to the 12 found defective. It is close enough to know that our answer is reasonable, if not correct. You see, putting together the math we have already learned means we can solve many problems that appear in the world. Fractions, decimals, and percentages are just different forms of the same rational number. Additionally, working fluidly with positive and negative values, the four basic math operations, and some fundamental mathematical relationships means you can do just about anything you imagine. In my mathematical world, I have a one little problem. I was looking around Georgia, and I noticed math problems everywhere. Help me understand some characteristics of businesses around the Peach State. The Georgia Ports Authority operates and maintains the ports in Savannah and Brunswick, Georgia. They reported a 25% increase in container volume in the fiscal year 2021. If the container volume in 2020 was 4.3 million 20-foot equivalent units, or TEUs, what was the container volume in 2021? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 2012, there were 20,300 Black-owned businesses in Georgia. And in 2017, that number increased by 16%. How many Black-owned businesses were in Georgia in 2017? Some data shows a 40% increase from 2021 to 2022. The number of Black-owned businesses in Georgia in 2022 was about 300,000. What percent did the number of Black-owned businesses increase by from 2017 to 2022? Georgia Pacific is one of the world's largest producers of paper products. A certain classification of employees earns a base salary of 50000 per year. In addition, the employee receives a yearly bonus based on the company's profits. In 2021, the company had a profit of $160 million, and the employee's bonus was a half a percent of the profit. How much did the employee earn in total last year? The radiology department at Emory Hospital schedules 15 patients for an MRI each day. If each MRI takes an average of 45 minutes to complete, how many hours will the department spend completing MRIs each day? Express your answer as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth. A hair salon in Augusta charges $35 for a wash and style and $291 for hair extensions. 
If a customer wants both services, how much will she have to pay in total, including a 15% tip? Trey Young, the star point guard for the Atlanta Hawks, made 176 three-point shots in the 2020-2021 NBA season. He attempted 473 three-point shots that season. What is his percentage of successful three-point shots? If he makes five more three-point shots in the next game, how many attempts will he need to reach a 40% success rate for the season? The Varsity has a special deal where you can buy four chili cheese dogs and two fries or onion rings for $10.50. If a chili cheese dog usually costs $2.25 and fries cost $1.95, how much money do you save with this deal? They also have a deal with two chili cheese dogs, an order of fries or rings, and a small drink for $6.99. Which is the best deal if a small drink normally costs $1.19? How much is this deal the cheapest buy? Take a look and you will see a mathematical world around you, filled with problems combining your knowledge and understanding of mathematics. You see, rarely in the world do we walk down the street and stumble over a math problem like 26 times 3 equals 78. Unless, of course, it is a square root. Be careful not to trip over those. But seriously, math is everywhere, and being able to convert numbers to make them useful to calculate, follow the rules of mathematics, and apply mathematical relationships to situations can take you anywhere. <laughs>